guys, it's Lori Cooch, and today, thanks to one of the girls in my Facebook group, Janice Berger, thank you very much for giving me this idea. I'm going to try playing with the Close to My Heart's new watercolor paints and paper. So this watercolor palette has one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 36. That's a long day, sorry. Different colors. Um, it's $11.95. There's paintbrushes too. And then the watercolor paper um, is $6.95 a pack and you get 10 12 by 12 pieces of watercolor paper. So that's a good deal. But what I'm going to try and do today is I'm going to just take this piece of 12 by 12 white and I'm going to just make some fall designs on it and I'm not doing anything um, in a pattern I'm just going to try and blend some colors together on the whole sheet so that I can then cut it on my Cricut into some leaf shapes and have blended colors so that's the plan let's see how that's going to work of course, it must work if you're watching this video, otherwise it's not going to be um, shared. So, just going to take some colors here and then overlay some colors. And I'm told that the trick to watercolor is more water. So, I'm not really a painting kind of person. So, we'll see. We'll just kind of blend some colors in. I'm going to mix some green into here too. Some yellows and different colors. Just see if we can get a whole bunch of fall colors going together. And I don't want to show a whole lot of brush marks, but we'll see. Again, I'm not a painter. That's why I scrapbook. But these paints are really easy to use, and you can see that they're pretty, pretty good at blending. They seem to be blending really well. Mm -hmm. Try some of this color. And again, I'm just picking colors off of the palette that look like they have fall themes a fall look to them and then just overlapping because we okay so here we are we're still just painting I'm going across it this way to blend out some colors so I don't have such um, distinct lines now I want to add some green and I'm just going to swoop that in don't want a whole lot of green in any one place, but, you know, leaves are green, so. Spread that out. So I'm not going to really put my images on the edges of this paper because you'll see my brush marks there but there's a darker green let's see what we get with this one paper's really wet, but that's the joy of watercolor paper. It's designed to be wet. And it dries really quickly. I 
love this mixing colors to kind of get a fall theme going. Maybe a little brighter green on here. Okay, so now we're going to go to our Cricut and we're going to design with some leaves and see how this is going to turn out. Okay, now we're in Cricut Craft Room. I'm sorry, we're in Design Space. I'm so used to saying Craft Room. And we're just going to search for leaf. Let's see what we find. So this one is on the Close to My Heart art booking cartridge. I do like that one. I'm just going to have the lines in there. Hmm. I like those, but I don't own those. What's this one? This one's on a Creative Memories cartridge that I do own. So we'll throw that one in there. All the ones that I like, I don't own. Oh, oops, we got paper. This one is on Close to My Heart Artiste. I do like that one. This one is also on Close to My Heart Artiste. Come on. I confused my computer, but we're going to use those for right now. Let's start with this one. I don't really want... What happens if I... Well, it goes together. Will I get the lines? Probably not, huh? That's what I thought. But I don't want them separate. I don't want them to print and cut. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I do. But, let's see here. We are going to have to weld them, and I'll just have the outline, and that will be okay. And the same here. What happens if I flatten that one? That makes it a print and cut, and I don't want to do that. Okay. I just don't want all the, the different layers. And you know, I don't like that one. Once it's separated like that, so we'll get rid of that one. And I'm just going to duplicate all these. I'm going to make them a bunch of different sizes. 
and I'm going to make them fit on a 12 by 12 canvas. Come on, I go faster than my computer. I'm just going to play with these so I'm going to insert a shape here once my computer catches up to me I think I froze it hmm okay. I'm going to add a square. I'm going to make it white. And I'm going to make it 12 by 12. Then I'm going to put it up here in the corner. And I'm going to move it to the back. so that our leaves are on top of it. And then I'm just going to take a leaf and adjust sizing. I'm going to make these all different sizes. So that none of them are exactly the same. They may be close. This is going to take some time. But being that I don't know what leaf I'm going to want where on my project, I just want a bunch of options. So I'm just trying to move these kind of out of the way. Oh, not that. so that I can put some up here in the corner. And then of course I'm going to have to sync all of our colors so that um, it'll cut it all on one on one piece and then what the other thing I'm going to do is once I get them arranged on here I'm going to kind of fool the, the software into cutting exactly how I want it on here so that I know all my leaves are going to fit on this piece of paper by selecting all and attaching and then it's going to cut exactly where I have them on the mat and we'll go from there. And I think I'm going to end up with more leaves than I'm actually ever going to use. But I'm planning this for a two page layout. So that's what I'm going to try and use this for. I'm just going to make sure my leaves aren't overlapping. And then move. Whoops move them around and resize them to fit on here. And it will get easier once I start clearing space on this mat. So here I'm going to have to rotate just a smidge. And 
I want some to be big and some to be small. So now I'm going to scroll down of my mat. And I'm going to not move that one. So again, this is just moving things around, making them fit on the piece of paper. So that we get the most out of our our paint. And the other good thing about designing this after you've painted is you're giving your your paper a chance to dry thoroughly. And you know you can even go through and flip these so that all your stems aren't going in the same direction. Add a little bit more variation to your to your project. For the most part, leaves are all kind of the same size. Not always. So you don't have to have them all the same size. And kind of the layer more gives it a better effect kind of person. But again, that really depends on what it is. Your layering. Oh, I have a lot more leaves here. And I may have picked more than I'm actually going to use or have room for on my mat. That's okay. Now I'm not going to be cutting the the square that I put in the back here. I'm just using that as a template so I can guesstimate how to how to size these. And how to fit them all on here in the most effective way. Nestled in there as best as I can. Make this one small. And then hopefully I have room for a big one here. Okay, I think that's going to work. This one's not on the oh, except for I forget there's more up there. Nope, there's not. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the layers. And I'm going to find my little square. I put the back, so it's going to be all the way at the bottom. I'm going to hide it because I don't need that anymore. This one is overlapping. We don't want that. This one's overlapping. Just take a little cursory look. Make sure none of your the cuts are overlapping. 
Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all. And I'm going to attach. So now it's going to make them all one color. But it's also going to put them on my cutting mat as, as one. And it's telling me that it's too large for my cutting mat. I didn't read what the whole thing says. Please reduce the image size. Okay, so then I'm going to bring my 12 by 12 back in. And I don't know why. It's telling me it's too big for my mat, but that's okay because I've, I've attached it, so I can just resize everything like that. Hide my square again and say go. I, I think it's because I have it up here in the corner and uh, it doesn't count that area but we'll just keep making it a little bit smaller at a time until it will fit and I don't know why that doesn't it obviously is in that 12 by 12 square Well, I don't know, but I do see a problem here, so we're going to oh, let me hide my square. I'm going to detach this first is what I'm going to do because I have this little image here that's overlapping. And then I'm going to hide my square because I do not want it part of that. And I'm going to select all again. And I'm going to attach. And I'm going to come over here to edit. It says, I don't know why it says it's too big. So, okay, we're just, there it went. So there's all my leaves. I'm going to send this to my mat and then we'll come back and I'll show you the finished project after it cuts out with my cricket. Okay, so here is the completed cut out of the machine. I am going to tell you that with watercolor paper, it gets kind of really thicky feeling and curls. So put some washi uh, tape, <coughs> excuse me, around the edges, and then in Design Space, I put it on custom, and I put it on. Uh, I think it said paper, and then heavy duty. And then there's a watercolor paper option in there. So now I'm just going to peel this off. Try not to tear my washi sheets or tape because I like to reuse them. Oh, tore that one. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I think these turned out really cute. carrying my paper a little bit and that is perfectly fine. And it cut really well out every leaf. So now I'm just going to take my spatula and hopefully you guys can see the neat colors that are in there. I'll try and lift them up. So you just get a very a varying effect, not any of the two leaves are going to be exactly the same because they have the varying colors in them, and that's it. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take our Nevermore paper and try and make a fall theme out of this because I'm not really into the Halloween stuff. 
my kids are grown and we don't do trick-or-treating anymore and we don't get trick-or-treaters so there's my my leaf idea and uh, hope you liked it thanks for watching and have a nice evening